Hey guys, it's Sam, and welcome to the hashtag Disney Drawing Challenge 2017, hosted by myself, Crazy Comic Lady, and Barry Zem. Links in the description down below to their channels, and their, as they're also participating, and they've been making some pretty outstanding, amazing stuff. So definitely check them out if you haven't already, and go subscribe, because they are not only amazing artists, but also amazing people. And this theme is draw a Disney wedding or a wedding outfit. And I went with wedding outfit after much deliberation because, you know, my wrist, uh, for one, if you guys haven't already heard, I'm just having issues with my right wrist. And also because just so many drawings in a row, kind of getting a little bit tired, need a bit of a break. So just keeping things kind of easy. And that kind of works with what I was saying at the beginning of this challenge anyway, of I don't really plan on doing any large or exciting pieces <laughs> with this challenge. Um, just keeping it simple and having fun, and that's what I did with this piece. So the random character generator chose Esmeralda, and I was really excited about that because one, Hunchback of Nostrom is a fantastic movie, and if you haven't seen that, go see it. Um, it's, one, it's a really good Disney movie, and I wish that they just keep, they didn't just sweep it under the rug and gave it the recognition that it deserves and it's a really good movie definitely recommend it and i really like Esmer esmeralda's character and i was considering having um her love interest i can't remember her, the guy's name at the moment um but then i decided to just have it be her have it be by herself and that's fine i'm not really one for fashion design <laughs> so things uh, were kept rather simple for that as well. I looked up several wedding dresses and just tried to find references of stuff. And I just I I don't I haven't like done a lot of research in terms of fashion design and that sort of thing, so I'm really noobish at that. And in terms of like what I saw when I was looking stuff up, nothing really stood out to me that much. So I kind of decided to just go a more simple route and I think in the end like it kind of matches her character, I, th I think. I don't know, you guys can tell me what you think. Um, I also had her outfits from the movie up as well as trying to find inspiration from that and put in some references there to kind of help tie in more of the character into the outfit design. So that's why there's those, I don't know what they're called, the gold things that she has on her outfit. Um, I put them on the wedding dress and then I also incorporated the color purple because her uh, main outfit has a lot of purples in it. And I kept it light, like a really light purple, because it's a wedding dress and typically wedding dresses are white. So I didn't want to have an overbearing color because then I feel like that would make it look more like a dress dress and not a wedding dress. <laughs> so um, I don't know how much I accomplished the the wedding dress look just because I feel like I because I didn't keep in the veil because I wasn't liking how it was coming out and by then I was like I don't really want to fiddle around too much with this line art at the moment I don't want to try and figure this out and so I just I just skipped it <laughs> but I think like I probably should have left it in or just done something because it just kind of looks like she's in a white dress at the moment at least that's kind of how it it would have looked more wedding dress with the veil, is all I'm saying. And, um, but whatever. <laughs> Too late now. But, uh, so yeah, so I added that uh, light purple to the little covering bit. And I also shaded it in purple. And uh, with the line art, I tried to push it a little bit more in terms of the line weight. Um, I feel like I probably should have started out with a smaller brush for the the initial line art and then when I went in with thicker brush it would have been all the more apparent or I could have just I mean I guess I could have just used an even thicker larger brush <laughs> for the uh, line weight but whatever I'm still like experimenting with my digital line art because I don't I don't know I, I don't really do line art digitally so this is all just me trying to figure stuff out and trying to gain patience and for the coloring I was kind of uncertain about what route I wanted to go. I just went ahead and threw down some shading just to have something there and then maybe I could figure stuff out with it later. 
and that that happened <laughs> i went with a mix of <clears throat> soft and cell shading and i think it turned out kind of nice i've done this sort of shading in the past and i think it looks kind of nice it has its moments <laughs> um but yeah so i think that turned out nice and then i also have a little bit of subtle gradients here and there to kind of just add some more subtle shading and then i also have seen artists do this um, not just in hair and like other things too, but I just did it in the hair with her of adding a gradient of the purple going up. You'll see it towards the end uh, in her hair. And I think it just kind of not only adds like more of a pop of color, but maybe some interest and in I don't know. I mean, I think other when I see other artists doing it, it looks pretty. So I wanted to try it and see if I could make my art look pretty. I don't know. You guys can tell me how I did. And um, yeah, and then for the background, I kept it rather simple, just I went with yellows to match her gold jewelry and just did some random textured swishing. I don't know, I'm just waving my hands in the air at the moment. <laughs> and um, added a lighter yellow as well, since the, just the yellow, the one yellow color by itself, it didn't feel like enough, so I uh, tested out adding a lighter yellow to go along with it, and I think that that helped kind of, I don't know, I don't know if balance is the right word, but it helped to, it worked, <laughs> I guess. And then um, it's very, very, very subtle, but I also added um, some yellow highlights on her, just some, some, I painted stuff down and then I did a Gaussian blur on it. And it's, yeah, very, very tiny, but just a touch of yellow in there. And I think that works with the purple and the yellow because they're complementary colors. And yeah, I think it came out kind of cute uh, with the lace in her dress. I wanted to have a little bit of lace just to have not only more detail, but to make it a bit more fancy and maybe more wedding <laughs> looking. And I started doing the lace and I was thinking of doing some more detailed designs, but then I started to feel pretty lazy after like the first couple dots. And I was like, this, this isn't going to happen. <laughs> I'm not going to last. So I just kept it simple and I just put in some flowers and that, yeah, that's, that's basically it. Oh, and then I added some sparkles too, because why not? She's, she's magical Disney princess. Is she a prince? Sure. She's a princess. She's a princess in my heart. Okay. And so she gets sparkles. That's, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> all right. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video. And just two more themes left to go of the Disney challenge. And I hope you guys have been enjoying this entire challenge. And definitely check out all the links in the description down below. And thanks so much for watching. Bye.